Well, I finally made it to skate at Skate 22. Not too bad a drive from Manhattan, but wow, was that floor worth the trip. Look at the floor. It is immaculate and it is wood. And we love wood. Serious roller skaters love wood. We make the best of any floor that we get, but a hard maple floating wood floor, man, there's nothing like it. I'm not even sure that is a maple floor, but I know that's what it was at Roxy when they kept it clean. This floor was perfect. But check out what's going on here. This is something I've never seen before. They have a group skate only. It only goes on Wednesday nights. And if I hadn't been there on Wednesday, I wouldn't have seen this. And people were letting me know these are the real skaters and that what they do during this time is so difficult. People don't realize if you're not a skater, skating around in groups and actually doing 360s, turning around and keeping the beat and keeping in and out of each other. There's a group of two, a group of three, and a group of, gosh, looks like it could be eight. And they have great respect for each other. It was an amazing night to see this, being able to get on the floor and skate with them and film them. It was amazing that uh, the, re the respect they have for the place, for the floor, for each other, I mean, they put the lights on for this. This is not the normal lighting, but for the few minutes that they allow this, they work. You're about to see something coming up where it looks like you might have a little bit of a crash here. A big group going into a turn against a smaller group and the lead guy who knows exactly what he's doing pulls it all together. Really impressive. I have to say, um, as far as quality of skaters, like here it comes. These guys just miss each other. See the back guy leading the big pack? He actually comes around to make the cut so they don't hit. Then he locks it in to be able to pull everybody just in time to get through everybody working to make that happen. And that guy never stopped dancing. He made the cut. He brought everybody around. He locked it in and he danced. That was amazing. That's why I had to show that in slow motion. The group was incredible. And why is it a 99% black crowd? Man, I do not get that. Because I went in there as a cracker and nobody even looked at me funny. There probably were about 10 white people there. And it just seems sad that uh, blacks will go to a, a white rink and skate, but whites won't go to a black rink and skate. And I did not get a minute grief or even look like what are you doing here nothing and I would have missed this if I hadn't been there on Wednesdays and Phil the guy running the place said that they only do this on Wednesday night this group skating it was incredible and beautiful and some of the best skaters I've ever seen like a group in there pretty much great skaters across the board Roxy we had some phenomenal phenomenal skaters but we also had a lot of private parties or people who never been on skates before. And not that that was a terrible thing, because skating is one of those sports that allows for beginners to get in there and enjoy themselves and people don't mind it. But when you have a room full of phenomenal skaters, you just don't even know where to look. It's all eye candy. And I'm glad that I made my trip to Skate 22. You should check it out. Look at that floor. Skate on that floor. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.